All right, live stream is running. Can we have our sergeant start their recordings, please? Your recording started. Oh, it's okay. Good morning, everyone. Uh, sir, hold and on welcome. one moment. Sir, hold yep. on one moment. Uh, sergeant okay. Sadowski, if you could do your opening statement, please. Good morning, and welcome to today's re remote New York City Council vote on the Committee on Cultural Affairs. At this time, would all panelists please turn on their video. To minimize disruption, please place electronic devices on vibrate or silent mode. We are ready to begin. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to today's hearing. I am Council Member Jimmy Van Bramer, Chair of the Committee on Cultural Affairs, Libraries, and International Intergroup Relations. Uh, I'm joined at this hearing by all of the members of the committee. Uh, I see Council Member Francisco Moya, Council Member Mark Joni, uh, Majority Leader Lori Cumbo, and I know Council Member Joe Borelli is also on uh, the call and in, in the hearing. Today, our kid committee will be voting on proposed intro 1967A, co sponsored by Majority Leader Cumbo and myself in relation to requiring the Department of Cultural Affairs to publish information on COVID-19 reopening plans and resources for art and cultural institutions in New York City. Uh, before I defer to Majority Leader Cumbo for a statement on her bill, I just wanna say that I'm proud to co-sponsor the bill uh, with her and thank her uh, for her efforts uh, and leadership uh, on this and on all things uh, culture and art in the city. Uh, while in some ways our culturals uh, never closed, uh, as many of you know, the hard truth of the matter is that the city's uh, art and cultural institutions were and have been and continue to be uh, uh, very affected among the first to close their doors due to COVID-19. Uh, and some have reopened, thankfully, but some will be among the last. Uh, to reopen as museums uh, were recently excluded from phase four reopening plans. Uh, the past several months have left many of our cultural institutions in dire financial circumstances at risk of closing and in need of support. Uh, this bill responds to the crisis directly uh, by bringing access information resources to the virtual doorsteps of many of them uh, but we are on a journey and must continue to remain vigilant in supporting and defending the heart of our great city, uh, the arts and culture uh, of our town. Before I ask Billy to call the roll for a vote, I will turn to the Majority Leader, Lori Cumbo, uh, to ask if she has a statement on the bill today. Chair Majority Leader Cumbo has um, logged off. She seems to have some um, audio issues. Uh, we can go into the vote and then circle back as soon as she logs on. Okay, I can uh, also take this moment to thank my legislative director, Jack Bernadovitz, uh, my chief of staff, Matt Wallace, uh, the committee's principal financial analyst, Alia Ali, our policy analyst, Christy Dwyer, uh, and our committee council, Brenda McKinney, for all of their work on this legislation. And did that buy us any time to get Majority Leader Cumbo back on the call? She is back. Great. Majority Leader Cumbo, would you like to speak on your legislation? Yes, I would. Thank you so much, Council Member Van Bramer. I'm very excited to be here today and thank you so much for your patience. Today is a big day for uh, young people and going back to daycare today. So it's, it's a little bit stressful. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> you got this, you got this. I got this. So thank you to Chair Van Bramer for holding this hearing today and to Brenda McKinney for, from our legislative division who is not only a talented, hardworking attorney with the council, but an inspiration to all working mothers. Yes! Amen. We have had to adjust to their new working environment and co-workers amidst a global pandemic. The cultural sector in New York City is one of the largest industries in the city, which employs approximately 400,000 workers, pays over $30 billion in wages per year, and generates more than $110 billion in economic activity, 
It does not stop there. This industry is a driving force for our cult city's cultural tourism, restaurant, and hotel industries. Our cultural institutions are not merely local attractions. They bring millions of patrons from continents across the world. It's critical that we recognize their importance as we plan for the future. When they suffer, our entire economy suffers as a result. When cultural institutions closed their doors in March of 2020, the city's artists, actors, musicians, stagehands, and freelancers suddenly found themselves unemployed and severed from their communities and livelihoods. They have lost billions of dollars in revenue, and it is possible that some may never recover. But we are here to help. It is up to us to guide them down the road to recovery in order to restore their livelihoods. However, as we begin to reopen our cultural institutions to visitors, we must approach the new normal with both cautious optimism and a commitment to proper planning, preparedness, and effective safety measures to prevent the resurgence of COVID-19 in our city. As a cultural leader, prior to coming into the New York City Council, it is so important to me that we protect this sector. And I know Council Member Van Bramer and many of my colleagues share this understanding of the importance of the cultural sector to New York City and doing all that we can to protect it. And our patrons who come to New York City for the love of art, culture, music, dance, photography, the history, and everything that makes New York City what it is today. Thank you so much to my colleagues for your patience. Thank you to my legislative director, Jason Herr, as well as my Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Majority Leader Kumbo, for your statement and your passion and love for all things culture and the arts. Uh, and uh, we have a deep appreciation for uh, all that you are doing. Uh, uh, including on your way to take care, apparently, right now. So uh, we thank you. Uh, with that, uh, seeing everyone present on the committee, I would like to ask uh, Billy to please call the roll. Good morning. This is the Committee on Cultural Affairs, Libraries, and International Intergroup Relations conducting its vote on intro number 1967A. We'll start with Chair Van Bramer. I vote aye. Majority Leader Cumbo. I proudly vote aye, and thank you all so much for your support. And I, I dedicate this vote to- Council Member Jonah. I vote aye, and I vote strong aye because of the convincing power of the Majority Leader. Council Member Moya. I vote aye. Council Member Borelli. I proudly vote aye, thank you. Thank you. Chair Van Bramer, by a vote of five in the affirmative, zero in the negative and zero abstentions, the item is adopted. Great, thank you very much. Congratulations to Majority Leader Cumbo. And with that, this hearing and vote is adjourned.